All right, next up tonight, Bowman Case 15 teams. Here's your teams that you got. All right, dead poop. Hold on one second. Let's get a super auto. We've had a couple super non-autos. Got a good game going. Yeah. Brian Mata, Speckle. Jury duty. You know what? I never, ever get jury duty. I've never had it. Andrew Nitzner, Nitzner, 499 blue paper. Victor Mesa Jr. T Dog. Yeah, I got a letter once. But it was like right when I left home to go to college and it, I was still like registered up there. Mm. And my parents were like, oh, he doesn't live here anymore. And they got me out of that. Yeah. I wonder if living in Rockland. Because then you don't get like the Sacramento. Because it's Placer County. Right. Gavin Lux. Like maybe. Probably not as many. Yeah. Trials. Jury trials. Yeah. And the other side of that is there's fewer people to choose from. You know, I don't know what the, how that works. Yeah. Because like if you live in Sacramento, yeah, there's a lot of trials, but there's a billion people down there. My mom had to serve on federal grand juries. Wow. In Milwaukee. Like, which is not close. It's like 150 miles from and it was like oh. Bryce Turing top 100 autograph to 50 for the oh. Brewers the cheese it was like twice a month for Wait, like how does that six work? months or something how do you get chosen for that same way I think just random. get a letter and... for a federal trial but it has to be it's still in your area or whatever how does that work well that's the weird thing is like they must be it's not really that close of an area because she had to go all the way to Milwaukee it's like 150 miles away Wow. Yeah. But those are grand juries to say, like, is there enough evidence to take this to trial? Oh. Talent Pipeline Atomic for the Indians. What is that? How does that work? Like, if I got summoned for that and I was like, I can't miss yeah. and run my own business or whatever, like, wow. Well, well, yeah, that's got to be part of the yeah. selection process. And, like, it's got to be so hard to find any... Yeah. Like, you have to find a person who's going to be, like, reliable and clear-headed and trustworthy that has, like, time to do that. Because you don't... Wait, you get paid? How does that work? Yeah, you get, so, like, like, nothing. You, yeah, you get per diems and stuff, and you get free hotels and travel. and. Ronaldo Hernandez for the Rays, Brandon. Yeah, like, if all... If somehow you could stop time... I wouldn't mind doing that, like just yeah. seeing what that was like. But like, you can't, I couldn't, there's no way. I got kids. But 
like, yeah, then who do they get to sit on juries ever? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, right now, if your mom got one of those, she'd be like, eh. Uh, you know, or someone kind of retired that's like, yeah, I don't have a lot to do. Feels like I'm being useful. So then all juries are just made up of people who are 65 years old. Uh. Or unemployed. <laughs> Jonathan Hernandez. Is that how you want your you want people to decide how they Thanos. Well, they should pay more or something. Yeah, I don't know. Now, we, we really want you on this jersey. What a jury. How much you make in the... What's your monthly? <laughs> we'll match it. I know, we'll... Uh, well, double it. How much do you really want justice? What's the price of justice? Your uncle. Yeah, that's weird. The justice system, am I right? What is the deal with the American justice system? Yeah, because I wouldn't want to do it either, but it's like... Knight and Cabrera after four ninety nine. I would want people like me to do it if I was on trial. Yeah. Well, I just don't plan on getting on trial, being on trial for anything. That's what I'm saying. You would be wrongly accused and facing a jury that was... Of retired people. That oh. hate young people. Ryan McKenna, Refractor Auto to 499. Shark Sitch. Next break is sold out. Well, I don't know if it's exactly sold out, but probably all the spots are in carts. But it's probably going to be a battle. Upside down chrome for some reason. Andrew Nitzner again. And a Wander Franco Refractor. Oh, I better raise the price of the Orioles, I guess. Jake Bowers, rookie for the Rays Refractor. Mariners game's on, all right. Enjoy the game. What's the early score in the uh, Thunder and... Blazers game. Poor Harp is probably so stressed. Biggest Thunder fan I've ever met. Biggest, he might be the biggest basketball fan I've ever met. Yeah, it occurred to me during like the playoffs for the for baseball last year that I've never been that invested in playoff series before. Like the mm -hmm. dynamics of it and stuff, I don't know how to feel. Oh yeah. Like the Packers are the only team that have ever been like consistently yeah. like we're always in the playoffs. But it's like one game at a time. Yeah. But like if it's like, oh we lost the first two, I you know, I just don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I don't have any experience rooting for that kind Tied of thing. Tied at sixteen early on, all right. How many threes for Westbrook? Connor Capel Refractor Auto. Duckman. Your Indians. Did you take that friendly uh, entertainment purpose only proposition, Brian? You didn't? Oh, okay. That seemed like a slam dunk. Or a deep three. Or Nilis. Gosh, Shaw's over 200 for the year, too. He's one for two. All he's got to do is make one more three. Yeah. Well, Travis Shaw was never good, was he? Yeah, he's been good. Andrew Nitzner autograph. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Tiny Tim. The last two years, he's been really good. Oh yeah, there's a UFC tomorrow. I don't really... That card looks like 
total crap, so I haven't really paid attention. I'll probably watch it, but I'm not not excited about any of those fights. Last week was the card. That was awesome. Oh, it's early too? Yeah, I'm probably not even going to do it. You know I won another DraftKings UFC? Did I tell you? Mm -mm. I don't think so. It wasn't. I didn't. I kind of entered late and I only put like 50 bucks or something. Bunch of, I put, played like a bunch of five dollar, ten dollar, fifty fifties. Mm -hmm. Brady Singer to four ninety nine. But the it was the weirdest win I ever got because like, I think one of my early guys got knocked out without even a, it was like a zero, and then I had another one that got submitted and had like four points and I was like, well that it's basically impossible at that point. Kyle Wright rookie refractor auto. Mike, double play. Um, but then, like, I picked, I stacked, uh, Poirier and, you know, the main event fight, I, I stacked, like, I chose both fighters. Mm. DeGrom, which usually people, well, people do it, actually, but, you know, it's kind of weird because someone's going to lose. But if you think, like, the fight's going to go five rounds right. and there are a million punches, yeah, yeah, which is exactly what happened. And somehow I, like, got enough points. It was weird. I got, like, the first, you know, the last winning spot in all of them. Genesis Cabrera to 150. Julio Ramos to 299. Yeah, I'd like to do DraftKings for tomorrow, but I don't know any of those fighters. It would just be... Not that I really know anyway. UFC Live is its weird. It's not as fun as you'd think. It's hard to see what they're doing. It's kind of better on TV. Unless you go to an event with that's like super hyped feeling. And it's just like really exciting. When someone wins like the main event, it's like super exciting. That's how I feel about like most things now. Yeah, that's true. Augustine. Aaron Lee. Basketball, there still is like a thing where you can get, you're usually close enough. Basketball is pretty good to watch. Like, like, you, like you're, you can be in like awe of what they're doing yeah. out there. And baseball's fun because it's like, you know, you're at ballpark. And, yeah. Basketball's well, good live. Football was. Football's bad. I don't like watching football live, yeah. yeah. You can't see what's happening. Somehow it looks so much faster live. Like they'll do a kickoff and it's like the ball like <laughs> tackled and you're like, I don't even. Couldn't see what moves anyone was trying to make, or like, you'll hear the crowd make a noise like if there's a fumble, and you're like, I didn't even see the fumble. Yeah. I don't know what's going on? Yeah, hockey's good life. Mm, Luke and Baker, blue paper. <laughs> I thought that was going to be like right at the center fielder. Must have hit it off the end of the bat. Roberto Ramos, space auto for the Rockies. Thanos. The Coliseum. Oh my god. What was that? One year. The rookie premiere was at the Coliseum like in 2016. That sounds right, because I remember it. Oh my god, I was freaking dying. It was so hot. Adrian Morion gold. Braves rookie pitchers. <laughs> Who would beat up Jupes? Baby boy Jupes. No way. Andrew Bechtold refractor autograph. Jeremy B. It was so hot at the freaking call scene. And that's weird because up here I thought it was usually hotter. LA's never. Eh, LA can get really hot actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're, 
I remember I went to that Dodger game. It's one random Dodger game. It was like a hundred degrees, and I couldn't even do it. I yeah. Just, I stayed into the under the pavilion thing or whatever for a while, and kind of walked around. I was like, okay, maybe I can kind of cool off. And Ryan O'Hearn, blue paper. And I was like, nah, I can't do this. I think I just left. I was like, I can't yeah. do this. Miserable. Julio Rodriguez, that's what's so nice about LA is normally 70 degrees and then when the sun goes down it's like nice cool breeze coming through. It's such a comfortable the weather's so comfortable here. Is that Ben Gamble? Mm-hmm. Oh, he didn't get that. That was pretty quick. Yeah, his brother played for the Brewers like 10 years ago. Matt Gamble? Yeah. I think I thought it was the same person. He was a good hitter, but he had like knee injuries that ended his career immediately. Jeez, Miguel Amaya just keeps coming. Tim! Miguel Amaya purple. I remember some the hottest I'd probably ever been was some softball tournaments. My sister was a pitcher and always had to go to these stupid softball tournaments. And we had chairs with umbrellas, and it was unbearable. Like, we couldn't even... I was sitting and just sweating the entire day. It was so bad. Frankie Yankee, a little uh, Tyler Widener. Somewhere in, like, Ceres or Stockton or something. Where's UCCF tonight? Did he say he wasn't going to be here? No, I'm starting to worry about UCCF. That Miguel Amaya reminded me of his 400 Amayas. Probably got a hot date or something. Maybe he's just working on the pile. You probably have way more stories about the coldest you've ever been. I don't have any. I can't even think of, like, this time I was so freaking cold. Martinez to four ninety nine. Yeah. I got some of those. Mine's all heat-related. One of them cold. was last year, and I was like, ice fishing. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. And it was Wait, like... it's cold and ice fishing? <laughs> Israel Wilson. Mike, you're brave. It's nice blue. Well, if you're smart and experienced, you have, like, you know, you have a little pop-up shack thing that, like, has yeah. a heater in it. Yeah. Well, my brother-in-law was like, hey, let's go ice fishing. Of course, he has that. I don't. Yeah. So, like. He doesn't tell you, like, hey, you need this. Well, thing. and I know, like, but you just, like, you know, you're just not room for two people, and I don't have Oh, uh, yeah. Like, Jeez. No way. Otani purple paper. Gorman blue paper. Also, I told you that I didn't live... Like, I lived near campus, but not on campus in college. So I had to walk, like, half a mile, maybe a little more. So it's not a long, you know, it's not a long way, a 10-minute walk or whatever. Brady Singer. Randonix. Where's Randonix tonight? But near the in and out We're going to have, you know, six blocks to walk, and it's 20 degrees below zero. No way. <laughs> I would, you would get to class or get home, and like your mustache and beard yeah. would just be like, cause from, just from your breath, just breathing yeah. like freezes just on this. Immediately freeze on your whole beard. That's crazy. Use Neil Diaz blue refractor. still rather do that a hundred times than walk to school one time in a if it was a hundred degrees and the sun was beating on me yeah no i would too you can't take your skin off like at least you could there's some yeah. theory that you could dress a certain way to not be cold but the one thing though is like there it gets to a point where you breathe and your lungs sting because you, you like you're yeah. just breathing in like the coldest air and you, <laughs> so your lungs hurt that like hurts your chest weird because it's because it's the air is so cold that's coming in Ronnie Mauricio, base auto. Jam BBB, there's a Met. A good one. 
Well, good prospect. Jeez. I've been to Packer games where it's been like 20 degrees, but that's not. Okay. Yeah, sure that's regular day. I've and never been to any that were like re really cold. Yeah, I've never been that cold. You should try it if you would hate it. Yeah, I'm sure. Medina to two ninety nine. You've never been like up in the mountains when it's been really cold or anything? Not that. I mean, I've been, you know, snorbo snoreboarding. Snowboarding and all that when it's like 20s and 30s, but yeah, you can wear it. It's not that cold if you're, if you're moving not closed. Too. Yeah. Keegan Thompson refractor. 10. Like we would play, even into my 20s until I left, we would play touch football every fall and winter, like every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would always play the last game, like around the first or second week of the playoffs, so in January, like mid January. <laughs> and it would, it would be, that would be cold. Ronnie hunting. I just have one memory of riding four wheelers in the winter of where I'm from. Justin Dunn. Like in Murphy's, which is 2,000 or 3,000 elevation. Like it would snow in there in the winter. Mm -hmm. But not like crazy amounts, like a little higher up. And I didn't have gloves on and we were riding around and I oh, got yeah. back and I couldn't feel my hands and I was like, did I just ruin my hands forever Cedric Mullins blue shark sitch that's a nice one that's probably the coldest is like for a sustained period of time is when I was be covering football games oh yeah in November and I, I, like, I couldn't I to stay out there right with gloves on you know <laughs> yeah. and it would never I never had to cover a game where it was that cold but even if it's 30 degrees and you're like just standing still for two hours or whatever Jeez. My hands would be so like you, Mount Castle. I wouldn't be able to like type fast. Like they were like sluggish. Like they just wouldn't <laughs> yeah. go. It's frozen. This guy I worked with at the state was from. His hometown was like. Oh, where was it? South Dakota, North Dakota. That's like the coldest. Yeah. Like, he was telling me the story one time, like. It was so cold. It was like negative, like forty or something stupid, and they couldn't, you couldn't even start your car or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. And they had to go get food or you know, like they had to go somewhere. And they went out, and they were doing something to get it started. Like they had to open it up, and I don't know what it was, but he said they had you know you have gloves on or whatever, and you take a glove off and try to do something, and you have to like put it back on and go inside like instantly. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just hands freeze off. It was just like a long, arduous process of slowly trying to do something. Casey Mize. Weird, we got Singer and Mize. Second year pitcher autos. I was like, well, that sounds like hell. Crazy that people have to live in that those conditions. Claudio. Who's Claudio? Matt Chapman to four ninety nine. Brian, what time is the do the fights start? Like the early prelims? Are they like six a.m. Pacific? Like super early? Christian Panish refractor. Super. Early. Brock Deathridge Atomic. Aaron Lee, nice one for your Tigers. Have we had a gold in this case? No. No gold. Too blue. We should have a gold or some gold wave or two blues. Hmm. 
7 a.m. Lame. Man, I'm hyped on golf now. When's the next major? Boba shit. Must be... Well, U.S. Opens in June. Is there yeah. one between? Father, it's always Father's Day. I think the British Open is before that. Uh, British Open. That's... I'd like that one. Uh, I mean, it's like impossible to watch. Especially here, I guess. No, no more breaks posting tonight. Sorry, we're... I already posted an extra. Oh, JMBBB, Ronnie Mauricio's speckle. Oh, the PGA got moved up. That's right. <laughs> ATM fees. Boy, it's a good thing you weren't watching that. Oh, PK sucks. <laughs> His username is ATM fees. Oh. Who's ATM fees? I love that name. That's right. The PGA did get moved up in May. Awesome. Wait, is the Open in, at Pebble Beach this year? Oh, we should go. Dude, it's so awesome. That would be great. Where's Pebble Beach again? Ryan Costello. Like, how far is it from here? Uh, it's a ways. It's Is it between Pebble. San Francisco and L.A.? Um, yeah, I think. It's, Monter it's Monterey, below Monterey, isn't it? I've been there and I can't remember where the heck it is. But it's south of San Francisco. I think so. Morro Bay. Monterey Bay, yeah. Oh, Beth Page right by your house? What, is Pebble Beach next year? I swear the opens in Pebble Beach, like, that, well, I guess it's not this year. Is it next year? Or did I miss it? Was it last year? Santa Cruz. Yeah, it's only like three and a half, four hours. Maybe not even that. Dom Thompson Williams Purple. We had one of those earlier. I wonder what that costs. Oh, the PGA's at Beth Page Black. I remember that course. That's a hard one. How much does it cost? Yeah, well. The Open is a pebble, yeah. It'll be a billion dollars. How did I get tickets to that? I saw Tiger and Phil, but the gallery is so huge you can't even get yeah. near him. I told you, then we we followed the... I just picked a golfer and followed him on the whole course. It's fun. Yeah, I've never been to a PGA event. If you go on, like, Thursday or Friday, maybe it's not so bad. Sunday's insane. How the heck did I get tickets to that? I have no memory of buying those. William Contreras, purple. No, it's not boring watching it live. It's awesome. Oh, Miguel Amaya. You can't really be bored because you're so exhausted. You <laughs> the amount of walking yeah. is insane. You're like absolutely dead halfway through. Yeah, you can't watch anyone really big. It's kind of tough. Well, there's two th people either like set up on a certain hole so they can see like everybody come through. Mm -hmm. That's so boring. Then you only see one hole. Yeah. And there's no good see. You know, you're not getting unless you. I don't know how you get there first. Logan Webb. I think when they open the gates, everyone like runs to a certain spot and just like. I did see that guy. One one point two million dollars. And he has like a criminal record for. Bunch of domestic abuse. Corbin Burns rookie autograph. The cheese. Oh yeah, that's true. I can sit on your shoulders and see everything. Yeah, that's right. You wouldn't even notice. It's fun. We should try and go. Yeah, that would be an experience. <laughs> Paula Creamer. What a bit. We gotta play golf. Logan Allen, Blue Shimmer. Shinnecock, awesome. I remember last time it was at, well, maybe not last time it was at Beth Page Black, but how long, how long has it been since it was at Beth Page Black? I want to say like 2000, 10, 9, 10. That's what I was thinking, like 2009 or something. 
Because I remember watching it in our house that we bought in 2009, and I had the Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods EA golf game, mm -hmm. and yeah, I just played it a million times on Bethpage. Yeah. So then when the tournament started, I like, oh, I know these holes. It had to be 2009 or 2010, not before that. Yeah, 2009. There isn't a golf game now. There's no Tiger Woods golf for... Like, if you want to play a golf video game, what do you do now? You have to play the old ones? Oh, I need another five, bro. Yeah, it's right there. What? Right there. Oh. Mm. There was something in the way. I have to make one for all this paper, too. All right, hit recap for case 15. Outlaw golf. But what if I want to play real courses? <laughs> Golden tee. I'm being serious. I want to play a video game with Beth Page Black. How do I do that? Uh, Brock Deathridge to 100. Israel Wilson blue. So we didn't get a goal. Cedric Mullins blue. Purple Dom Thompson Williams. Purple Miguel Amaya. Two purples and two blues. Augustine Mauricio Speckles. And then, oops, Thompson, Bechtold, Wright, Capel, Bowers, Rookie Refractor, McKenna, Burns, Amaya, Mize, Mauricio Singer, Ramos, Nitzer, Hernandez, different Hernandez, Mesa, and a Turing Top 100. There is no game. Okay. Morion Gold. And then here's the rest of the color. I played a lot of Tiger Woods Golf. It's so day. fun. In PS3. I don't remember exactly what year it was that I was in. Wander Franco Refractor. Widener Cabrera. It and must the, have uh, been between 2007 and 2010. I don't know. Is it 2009? No, the game, though. Like, they made it for a couple of years. I just don't know. I think it was that year. Yeah, they made, like, the... Oh, whatever, anyway. Yeah. Why did they stop making that? How hard is it like to just put the same stupid courses with a new engine and Yeah, you would think they would they could at least do it every couple of years. I kinda get that you don't need to do it every year maybe. Yeah. But 